the Long Jump Board that being handled by the Old Student Association. Yes, who was take it away? I think that they can go. Yes, I'm going to take it away. I'm going to take it away. Yes, no, no, no. The government is going to be president. I'm going to take it away. 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 So we are very glad that people are here, very soon we want to start with start with the program so that everybody will be acquainted with what is going on. Thank you.
Our students are about to begin. I hope you all are happy today. I hope you all are happy. Very good, very good. Well, I'm, 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 I'm very, very sure that you people are happy to see your seniors. We've given you a good example, and we know that you are going to copy from it. Is it not? If it is, say yeah. 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 We are happy to see you, seniors. God bless you. Right now, the <laughs> the to the business of the day. I can see our parallel program. alias You are welcome, sir. I can see Popo is there, Professor. Yo. Dr. Popo, you are there. I can also see you. not a chief, Benzo Nasai is a pastor, it's, not a chief. It's a chief stroke English pastor. <laughs> no, but even when you are a chief too, you can also be a pastor. It doesn't matter. Uh, uh, uh. Are, you tell, are, you tell, are you saying that uh, chief pastor has something to do with uh, idol or fetical? Uh? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Jesse, 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 we shall never, never be afraid. We shall never, never be afraid. Jesse, 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 of our big house, our big. Yeah, we shall never, never be afraid. We shall never, never go, 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 go. We shall never, never go, 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 go. That song is an integrating song. Wherever we are going, be it sports, football, even in our academies, dramatic society. What that name, that what that sing, song is sung. Everybody, if you are from Abiyama School, no matter who is on the way, they are done to be crushed. Abel <laughs> go Yes. I got my love. Yes. 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 Thank you, children. I want you to move Yes. 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 Okay, let, let, let me go once again, right? So everybody Let's go once again. Yes, 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 
We shall never, never be afraid. We shall never, never boom, 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 bush. We shall never, never boom, 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 bush. Clap for yourself. I think I'm a Jesse, a Jesse, a big ground, we shall never, never be a friend, 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 Students, I'm sure that the um, reason why you are seeing ladies among us today, some of you students will be wondering. The reason is that in 19, 1972, when the school was opened, that's about 50 years ago, it was co-educational, meaning that it was both female and male students. As time progresses, our sister school, Abbey Girls, was opened. And in order to populate the school, the government decided in association with the community that this school shall be basically male to enable us to populate our female school. So that is the reason. And we can assure you that both schools are working hand in hand to make sure that we advance the frontiers of education in our bay. Can I clap for your first place? Our final members, our seniors, that is 1977 set. We want to increase your indulgence. Please come for your tea. That will also be followed by 78 set, and it continues like that. Please, uh, 77, please. Come for your tea. Seniors, <laughs> please proceed for your tea. Carrying Etona, that is sport, carrying bicycles to make sure that people contribute their money. And today, the fruit of their labor is what we are harvesting today. Now, we have his representative, the Ogumi, representing Okoba of Okole Kingdom. They are here. In person of Chief Ojuku, you are welcome, sir. We appreciate you. You're welcome, sir.
for those of you, and I'm sure none of you will say you don't know him, that is Dr. Austin Avoro, a philanthropist, much less. You're welcome, sir. You appreciate you. You're welcome, sir. 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 You're welcome, sir.
We also have a representative of Chief. Ladies and gentlemen, please permit me as we welcome the BOT chairman, who is also a member of Abbey Grammar School Old Student Association, Chief Sam Anoka. I also wish to recognize the presence of Old Students Grammar School. We appreciate you. You can see the warm embrace. You come back for actually. We are grateful. We appreciate you. We appreciate our ability. And so the SSO will also appreciate you. You are welcome, sir. You come You cannot change the meaning team. We are grateful to you. As we sing the national item. Please check your sleepless. You have the national item there. We are going to sing first and second stanza. Then, of course, the pledge. Go. Arise, O compatriots. Nigeria's call obey to serve our fatherland with love and strength and faith. The labor of our heroes part shall never be in vain. To serve with height and might, one nation born in freedom, in peace and unity. Shall we read the pledge, please? I pledge to Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest, to serve Nigeria with all my strength to defend her unity and uphold her honor and glory so help me God you see when you are serving your nation you are indirectly serving please get seated sir when you are serving your nation you are indirectly serving yourself and if you denigrate your nation you are also denigrating yourself so yes. and to do that we are going to call our pioneer MC Pastor M.O. Akakala to lead us in prayers May we rise. Let us rise. Children, stand up wherever you are. Please, no noise there. Give God honor. Please stand up wherever you are. And if you are a female, make sure you cover your hair. Heavenly Father, the Most High God, we thank you. Father, we are grateful unto you. Because there are many possible for all of us to gather today. Lord, we say thank you. This school started 50 good years ago. And we started with one block or so. No matter what, today we are seeing more than one block. Father, we say thank you. And for leading all the people that are here safely from their various destinations down to this place safely, God, we call it thank you. And Father, it is very clear that you started with us. And you will continue with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Daddy, wherever you are, there is peace. Therefore, I decree peace upon this arena in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God, those people that have come to celebrate with us, even if they never attended a Grammar School, may you grant them, grant them peace 
Grant them success. Grant them good health. Grant them long life in the name of Jesus. Daddy, whatever we are going to do today, take the first position. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I know even if I cannot mention names here, generally you know everybody here. Give them what they desire. Give each and every one of us whatever we desire in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, because we know you have answered already. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And let us say a bigger amen. Yeah, rule in this school. May the soul of the departed rest in perfect peace. Amen. So we're going to hymn number one, which is Holy, Holy. We are going to sing stanza one and the last stanza, which is stanza four. And I know that some of us are also with the pamphlet. Holy, 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 Lord Almighty, early in the morning a song shall rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three places, bless the Trinity. We are going to stand up for now. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, all the world shall praise thy name in earth and sky and sea. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, We have drinks, more are coming, we have chilled water, and we support, we have loaves of cola nuts there, uh, garden eggs are countless, and we are also supporting it with 5,000 naira. We appreciate you. Thank you very much, sir. Representative of Okapala of Okwere Kingdom, in the person of Chief Ojuku, we're also recognizing you to wear your color with 2,000. Drinks are also there. Water is also there. 
I appreciate you. Thanks for coming. That the bedrock of education in this school, both former and southern principals. I can see an old student here of Teleka. Sir. But I'm surprised that you are sitting here. Anyway, because of your bar function, you are welcome, sir. We are thanking you. We are supporting your full adults with the sum of 2,000 uh, more drinks and appreciation. We can't appreciate you enough. So we are thanking you for what you have done for us and for our children. I will say keep the fact that you are welcome, sir. And the Education Committee, we are grateful to you. The grace of God, it has been paying off. We want to also appreciate you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the good work. And we enjoy you to do more. You don't change the winning team. Also supporting your call and out with some of 2,000. We can't appreciate you enough. We are grateful to you. Thank you very much, sir. Ella se, ella se, ella se, ella se, we shall never, never be afraid, we shall never, never, umbo, 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 bush, we shall never, never be conquered, we shall never, never, umbo, 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 umbo. That is our empowerment, so wherever we are going, be it academic sports, we are crushing anybody on the way. Agusa, I appreciate you. You are welcome. The next item on the agenda is welcome address by our able president, Sir Engineer Mike Okolo. He has been piloting the affairs of Agusa. And like I said at the threshold, we cannot change a winning team. So, but next time, the rest are sure that your Jesse is waiting for you. You're welcome, man. So on that note, I hand over the microphone to our president. Have we just have we distributed the welcome address by the national president of Agosa on the occasion of 50th anniversary of Abbey Grammar School Abbey on the eighth day of April 2023? The Honorable Commissioner, the highly revered chairman of this epoch-making occasion, government delegations, special guests of honor, the chiefs, the much respected and accomplished personalities present today, the principal and staff, PTA delegation, education committee, great alumni of August of Abbey Grammar School, Abbey, invited guests, Great students of Alma Mata, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. We are exceedingly elated to welcome you all to our Alma Mata for the glorious and memorable celebration of this institution's 50th anniversary, marking the Founders' Day. We are eternally thankful to the Almighty God, the storehouse of all good thoughts and material gifts which motivated this day into reality in 2023, though the celebration was delayed. Abbey Grammar School Abbey was formally opened for academic activity on 8th September 1972. Under, please, can you switch off that uh, music? For the interruption. Abbey Grammar School Abbey was formally opened for academic activity on the 8th of September 1972 under an initial name as RCM Grammar School Abbey and later renamed St. Gregory's Grammar School Abbey. The pioneer set 
graduated in 1977 and we have continued to annually graduate students except only one year when the school curriculum in Nigeria was adjusted from five year to six year academic or education system. We are proud for our heritage and bring to consciousness that Abbey Grammar School had graduated 45 classes or sets. Distinguished guests and friends of AGSA, the institution Abbey Grammar School Abbey, and the past students under the ages of Agosa, we always remember to extol the visionary leadership of this community who braced all odds and recognized the inestimable benefit of building this school at the time when most communities around us had none. Despite the challenges of poverty and resource limitations in the society, our leaders made an unparalleled resolve to mobilize, levy, enforce, and finally establish Abu Grammar School in September 1972. The unique contributions of one pound for every male and 10 shillings for every female was a transformational step of commitment that bettered the establishment of Abbey Grammar School Abbey. We remain eternally grateful for their courage and vision. Today, we have new partners that deserve our commendation for their sustained provision of facilities, both soft and hardware. Standing tall in these vanguards are Dr. Austin Avuru, Mr. Emmanuel Konyubago, Honorable Azuka Azaka, Mrs. Julie Akimuiwa, Neo Shong, and the family of Honorable Freno Okwese. Honorable Charles Emetulu, member of Delta State House of Assembly, through his numerous efforts, had facilitated academic activity and supported infrastructural renewal. We continue to look towards these partners and more in the works to support our alma mater with the needed assistance to sustain the dreams of our, of our funders. Currently, Honorable Charles Emetulo is working to ensure that government will provide the approved chairs and desks for the entire school. We express our appreciation to the Governor of Delta State, His Excellency, Senator Ato Ifani Okowa, for extending his developmental agenda to our alma mater. Fabi Gama School Abbey and the past students under the Agosa body are appreciative of the current leadership of Abbey community through the Power Council, the Chieftaincy Council, Education Committee, and the entire citizenry for the continuous interest in the affairs of the institution, as was done by our funders. We acknowledge the roles that you have played in the past and specifically call on the community to step up again against the ugly developments where physical infrastructures are constantly vandalized by our children and cutted away by intruders with little protection from the indigenous security operatives. Intervention from the community leaders, leadership can stem these unpalatable occurrences. We are privileged to have with us in this glorious Golden Jubilee celebration some past principals of this school who administered administer the affairs of this institution and contributed to grooming most of us present here today as alumni. It is on record that some of these remarkable leaders have departed this part of eternity and joined Saints Triumphant. We have some representative of these departed past principals with us today. May we seek your indulgence to rise for a minute silence in honor of our departed school leaders. Just a minute silence for the departed principals. May the Lord comfort their families and give their souls perfect rest. Amen. Institutions in, in the community have joined AGSA 
in this 50th anniversary. This cooperation among the various schools, both government-owned and private, privately sponsored, should engender healthy competition among you for the benefit of the children. We will always explore every occasion to counsel our current students and staff to share the passion to keep Abbey Grammar School Abbey positive flag flying sustainably and demonstrate exemplary commitment to projecting our known academic prowess. We plead for the protection of the school infrastructure through a renewed commitment from the students and staff. Still sitting on the fence to rise and obey the clarion call for the sustenance of the goals towards lifting Abigama School higher. Our slogan remains, we are stronger together. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Agosa is thankful to you all for your esteemed presence here today. We assure you that today's event will remain enjoyable and treasurable. May the Almighty God, who paved the way for your safe inbound travel to this gathering today, grant you outbound journey mercy to your various destination after this occasion. Amen. Agosa. Agosa. Abbey Grams. Long live Abbey Grammar School Abbey. Long live Abbey Community. Long live Agosa. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you, my evil and erudite president of Agosa. Max, the chairman of this occasion is our brother. Our uncle, a philanthropist of no mean major, an educationist. Join me as we hand over the microphone to Dr. Austin Avoro. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Um, our Lord, temporal and spiritual. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much, and uh, congratulations to all old students of Abbey Grammar School. I was uh, cracking jokes with my friends, my younger friends there, that uh, I still remember vividly in December 1971. Um, I was 13. I just finished class one in Urugun Grammar School and as a member of Abbey Students Association, we were all commandeered to come into this forest and clear this place. We were among the first set of people that cleared this place preparatory to building the very first classroom block before you started in September 1972. So we have a long history with this ground. And uh, some of us are extremely proud to see that Abbey Grammar School has survived all the, all the obstacles thrown at all schools in our country by poor governors. We just managed to survive. Back in Back in 2008, when I was still managing director of Platform Petroleum, we came to this school and the enrollment had dropped to 82 students. Those classroom blocks were seen, trees were growing through the roof. And we took it upon ourselves to take one classroom block at a time. We did very, very modest jobs, take out the roof, re-roof it put windows, and I think we did two or three of those classroom blocks, and then the principal's quarters, and then the raft, when you back, we put the borehole here, and that's how the reinvention of the school then started gradually. I was asking for the enrollment today. I'm very happy to hear that we have about 450 students in this school, up from what it was at 52. At that time, students from this school could not register here 
for school certificate exams. They had to go to neighboring villages to register. We have to strive now to attain the kind of standard we are going to see in that school when it kicks off in October. And government will not do it for you. Government doesn't do it for anybody anymore. There are some schools, government college Umar here, the old students officially applied and took over the school. And they contributed two billion naira and completely rebuilt the school. They run it to this school to improve from where it is today. The old students have had two generations of graduates from this school. Two generations of people who finished from here. Some here, 50 years ago, made the best result in this school. I still remember vividly. And he's here. We have had other generations after him. If two generations of graduates from this school are working and doing well wherever they are, professors, doctors, and so on, and you cannot rise up and take over this school and bring it to the standard it should be, don't look up to government. So I will encourage you to set up a proper endowment fund and contribute generously into that fund and be using that fund to intervene here. If you don't do that, this place will decay back to what it was in 2007 when we had related to two students. To support what I'm saying, into that endowment fund that you are going to set up, I'm starting my first contribution with $5 million into that. Yeah. And we'll, uh, when we leave here, you hold your, your fellow old students. Jody and me to give you that check. And then let us start from there and see if we can build up a fund of, you know, 50, 100 million naira, you can do a lot to make this school as well as you. And you can do it. If you set that target, we can do it, and then this school will attain the kind of standard. So thank you very, very much. I'm uh, really, really proud to be here. I just came in uh, uh, 30 minutes before I got here. I had to rush to uh, the events at the hospital that honoring my mom, uh, my mom's uh, 90th birthday. That's why I'm badly dressed. I'm uh, dressed in the uniform that everybody had there in the hospital. I had to rush here. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much, and I wish you the very best. Just as I say, congratulations to all old students uh, who are here and their visitors and guests. Thank you very much. They say the taste of the pudding is in the eating. Today he has demonstrated that by kickstarting the endowment fund with a sum of five million naira. Sir, I want to assure you that this plan call that you have kickstarted for us will be something that will ginger members of Old Boys Association to make sure that we bring this school to enviable hands. Thank you, sir. And the next item on the agenda is brief of Abbey Grammar School to be uncovered by Dr. G. U. Okoko. Dr. Okoko, sir. Uh, thank you for the honor. Uh, the history of reading is that of uh, Abbey Grammar School. So if you look at the brochure, you pardon the printer's devil reading uh, Abbey Grammar School Oscar Association. That is not part of it. Uh, it's a long to read. Uh, try to follow me up as I go up through. Uh, in providing a vivid, comprehensive, and factual historical account of Abbey Grammar School for the purpose of records of our current and future generation and for the golden age it has attained, it has become expedient to rely on the first hand history on the formation of the school by the illustrious son, father, and one of the key players. Uh, late chief, then was yourself, otherwise known as Ojo. In the preceding years leading to the founding of Abbey Grammar School, it was very difficult to establish a secondary school by any community. Occasioned by the very stringent conditions and retrepism imposed by relevant educational agencies of government. Therefore, prior to its establishment, few secondary schools existed in the Indokwa nation, and they include, the, they include St. George's Grammar School. 1960, Matade Grammar School, 1962, Sabiri Magali, 1964, Biaru Grammar School, 1968, and St. Kizito Grammar School, Otago, 1968. These schools were considered too far away from Abbey and for indigenous variables, 
parents were unwilling to allow their children to travel such long distances to acquire education. Thus, in 1968, Chief Augustine Ebi Obaro, the first university graduate of sorry, Ebi Obaro, the first university graduate of Abi Indigen, and permanent secretary in the then Midwestern state of Nigeria, considered the most educated and foresighted in the town, as at that time initiated moves for its establishment. He traveled to Abbey from Benin City and convened a meeting of educated persons and chiefs to discuss the idea. The meeting was held at the residence of Chief Okuzo at Ajakita Street Abbey. In attendance, we are A.U. Barrow, Chief O.E. Okorocha, Joseph N. Sojo, J.U. Shonwo, Osani Mekene, Osuya Mado, Osademe, Ide Okoche, Kwonwose, Johnny Numa of Umwechi, Chief Ajakita, as well as Francis Ishei Udu, who was based in Ghana as of that time. And we said to Galenia. For unity of purpose, Chief A.A.E. Uh, Ubaro suggested that a committee known as the Home Front be set up to accelerate the project. This led to the setting up of a committee, and the executive members include Antonio uh, Kolocha as the chairman, Chief Enuwa Sojo as secretary, and James Okuzo, treasurer. The away members were Ubaro, Ushuangu, Antonio Otonogo, and T.S. Omudegu. In subsequent meetings held by the committee, it was resolved that every adult male be levied one pound and women ten shillings. The Boy Scout movement, alongside the whole front members, were empowered to collect these monies, seize valuable items, and submit to designated places. Tank criers of the three quarters with their wooden uh, agogo were told to disseminate the information. Reactions of the people on hearing the news was tremendous. We prompted jubilations, and people formed dance groups and danced around the town. In most cases, to the houses of these chiefs, especially to that of Chief Obaro, who they saw as the next to Igbo people, praising God Almighty for using him as an instrument of light to illuminate the people of Abbey. It is worthy of note that many donated selflessly in material and cash towards the school project. From 1968 to 71, monies collected were used in erecting the first four classroom building, concrete, uh, concrete well, and four room pit toilet built in early 1972, as well as setting the approved amount demanded by the government of that day. Uh, however, on the special facilities on grant by relevant government officials and the much sought approved granted for its takeoff, the entire town went ago. There was an all night party as ecstasy, enthusiasm, pride of self-fulfillment of dream, a dream project came into reality. 300 cannon guns were shot to harass the commencement of the school. Why women, children, dance around the town in jubilation, and a one-day public holiday declared to spark, to suck the pressure. The school, which is co educational in status, originally named Arusian Grammar School, Abbey, was founded on 8 September 1972. Later remained St. Saint Gregory Grammar School, Abbey. There were some opposition on the naming of the school tied to a religious denomination, the Catholic Church in particular. As agitation for the proper renaming grew uh, between those four and against, the state government took over all schools in the state in 1973 and changed the name to Abbey Grammar School Abbey. On 8 September 1972, the first batch of 66 admitted students were made of 52 boys and 14 girls marched into the school compound from Umubo end of the school, in the immaculate white shirt and white uh, uh, knickers, while the girls wore white gown. It was a rainy day, but parents uniforms, and particularly accompanying the Oyibo principal. On that same day, the principal and the particular said they had a meeting with chiefs from the town who agreed to mobilize youth to clear the compound within two weeks. The second batch of admission Three students was on the 11th of September 1972, while the third and the last batch of another three students was on the 18th of September 1972, bringing to that number to, to 72 students, 58 boys and 14 girls, as Paonia said. The first time AGSA participated in any sporting activities was on 6 February 1973, when Chief Okolaja directed his vehicle and took four students to St. George's Grammar School, the number. The students were at the Fosasakwe. Uh, Christiana Kese, uh, Christiana Ifediba, and Ukode Olile. 
why particular surgery did you talk? I can't bend them. The first set of staff were Reverend Father, were Reverend Father Patrick Cotney, the principal, Mr. Patrick Osergi, and uh, William Odili, teaching staff, FI OD, the bossa, Mr. Thomas, then we by the messenger, and Mr. Joseph Okusunoko, the caretaker. On the part of students, the Pioneer School Prefect, we are at the Fonsakwe, the senior prefect, is sitting there. Uh, the senior prefect. Okay? The first set of staff we are uh, Patrick Courtney, uh, Mr. Oh. Sir, Patrick Sergi, and William Otele, the teacher, OG, and uh, Thomas Enumimba, and so on. The students, uh, Osakwe, then Joseph Uto, the head girl, uh, Victor Egwenu, the labor, uh, James Achibwe, James, and Samanukan, the bell ringer of punctuality prefect, the source of Sodia. By the test set, precisely 1974-75, the school has become par uh, paradise, goes on both in population, activities, and fame. All that bushes and stumps turn to modern field, thanks to the mechanism of permanent portion of fruit and level, Bahamas grass planting, and watering, ETC, all prepared by the slogan of, this is our own grammar school, initiated by Mr. Patrick Osegi. And as hostel facilities became available, people from far and wide, including as far as Wari, Ueli, Agbo, Benin, and even Lagos. Oshika is one of them. Found it a veritable institution where their ambitions to well-educated could be achieved. It is on record that the first set that got in 1977 had 100% pass, of which out of 40 in number, up to 35 had five credits and above. I'm aware two had first class from Ibadan and Isuka. One of them is here. And many came out in upper classes and institutions for universities and polytechnics. The same set had produced at least three professors. Since the inception of the school, it has graduated more than 5,000 students, amongst whom are professionals in different fields of human endeavor. Challenges of Abu Grammar School. Poor funding from the government. Uh, you can ask any of the principals there. They will tell you what is their subvention per, per term. Decay in societal values of education, with parental so, uh, support from uh, child education, teachers' ineffective attitude to work, inadequate qualified and specialized teachers, shortage of chairs, laboratory, consumables, and other facilities that support teaching and learning, indiscipline among students, quantum damages to school property, burglary and stealing of school properties, administrative recklessness, and nonchalance of school heads, poor monitoring and supervision of school by relevant government agencies, such as the Ministry of Education and the PPEB. Some prospects. Regularly, confirmed use of students' hooliganism, vandalization of infrastructure, theft of essential facilities, examination and practice, cruelty of teaching and non teaching staff, and so on, have become worrisome. More so, administrative lapses from principals and heads of units shown by trusted community has affected the ugly situation to the extent that staff, students, enjoy limited freedom to misbehave on check. Looking at the amount of challenges facing the school, the way forward will include periodical monitoring and evaluation of activities in the school by officers of the alumni and PTA body. Regular synergy with the PTA and education committee on matters of the school. Periodical conversation with community leadership on matters of the school. Reporting and pressure on relevant government agencies on matters of the school, including post of teachers. Recognizing teachers' performance Institute surveillance measures for the monitoring and checking of acts of vandalism and authority in the school. Liaise with community vigilante for periodical security checkups in the school. Institute more intrinsically motivating schemes that will promote excellence. Periodically organize career guidance and counseling programs for students. Liaise with other stakeholders for extra, for extra lessons program, such as the holiday lessons for college uh, students. A scheme that is already have been implemented. It will also be necessary to periodically organize academic competitions and awards between Abbey Grammar School, Abbey Grammar, Girls Grammar School, and even the private schools in Abbey for a broader impact in community. That's a good one by Dr. Okopo. We appreciate you. Thank you very much.
as events were progressing, one of our illustrious sons and our chiefs, the Onotuko of Omiya Quarters, Chief Machi Ude, and the representative of Onotuko of Elovie, Chief Okunama, walked in. We are grateful that you are here. We appreciate you. We also appreciate Dr. Emmanuel Konyebago. We thank you. We appreciate you. Your contribution in Abiy Grammar School. Thank you very much, uh, the MC, Mr. Chairman, the chiefs, the principals, fellow alumni. I'm here to tell you a bit about the formation and operations of Agosa. The story of the establishment, management, and performance of Abbey Grammar School Abbey remained glorious until mid 1990s when the societal values on education began to drop. The state government's subsequent policies and poor funding did not help matters. The urge to make quick money, particularly in our own community, Abbey, and other negative societal influences almost resulted to abandonment and total decay of the school system. Children of secondary school age will migrate seasonally to God knows where, all in the quest for quick money making. Those who manage to attend want excellent YX certificate by hook or by crook, thereby engaging in examination my practices. Where that was not possible, they migrate to other exam magic centers or schools to register. At the time, YX had to ban African School Abbey from registering candidates for final examinations. With all these, the entire school system became highly devalued for a long period of time. Prompted by the need to redress the situation and return the school to its enviable status. The ex-students based in Lagos in November 1995 initiated and inaugurated the Alumni Association with the acronym AGOSA. As aforementioned, Mr. James Atiba, Lagos, I mean President, Lagos Last National. Late Mr. Steve Uyebo, Vice President Lagos Last National, and Dr. Gordon Okoko, Secretary Lagos Last National. Within a, within a short period, Wari Branch was formed under late Mr. Saina Is Is Solomon as the coordinator, then later as Saba Branch led by Mr. Adolphus Osakwe, while Ikwogo was to coordinate Home or Abbey Branch. By 2000s, Late Mr. Uyebo became the president Lagos slash national, engineer Mike Okolo, vice president, while Dr. Gordon Okoko remained the secretary. Leadership of the branches remains, and the new branch was formed under Mr. Clement Obaro as coordinator, and later Ushuan Unayosi. Given the demise of Mr. Isaina Solomon and Mr. Steve Uyebo, Dr. Kaine Nelson became coordinator of Wari Branch, engineer Mike Okolo became president. Dr. Ralph Abanum as Vice President and Mr. Egwenum Abel as Secretary. Full list of executives are as contained in the brochure. So far, the operations and administration of the association still remain almost entirely centralized. The national headquarters has full ESCO members with responsibilities as provided in AGOSA Constitution, functioning and operating the AGOSA account. However, there had been a tremendous improvement in the administration and mobilization of alumni across the country and even beyond, thanks to the instrument of social media and the rich, rich up efforts of current leadership. AGOSA is registered with CAC, has a board of trustees and administers in accordance with its constitution. AGOSA holds a group life assurance policy for, of ICO for which families of our demise members that enrolled with the policy have benefited. Agosa's annual conferences held almost yearly during Easter break, where the national and all branch members attend, remain and they remain 
veritable avenue where core decisions and agenda of, as, uh, uh, of the association are suggested and agreed upon. Since its inception, AGOSA has been involved in numerous developmental projects in the academic and other areas of the school. Some of these are listed. There are so many, so numerous to mention. You can find them on page 9. We provide partial scholarship for some extra talented students for youth university programs. We have also uh, resuscitated the borehole system, funded the supply of lab and chemicals for continuous of our work, supplied modern water system toilets for the students, and several others. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Ralph Abanam.
somebody was signing in the group. Who that was somebody was signing in the group. Oh, somebody was signing in the group. Oh, she did my mother was signing in the group. Oh, somebody was signing in the group. Who that was somebody was signing in the group. 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 Sani Bundego, Sani Bundego. Oh, Samari wa Sani Bundego. Bundego, Samari wa Sani Bundego. Oh, Samari wa Sani Bundego. Bundego, Samari wa Sani Bundego. Sani Bundego, Sani Bundego. Sani Bundego, Sani Bundego. Sani Bundego, Sani Bundego. Sani Bundego. Sani Bundego, Sani Bundego, Sani Bundego. The chiefs here present, all the business here present. I go start in charge. There is a gentleman. I thank God, Mr. Spruce, for this gathering that we are here today. I thank God for our life. Thank God for my life being present here to where these things have taken place. <laughs> Upon my arrival in this place just a year now, I was intimidated of this association. And in no time, really, they came and welcomed me. And then so many things followed. I got to know that a lot of things is being done in this group by these people, including building new houses for the children, rehabilitating the dilapidated ones, shares that the children find it difficult to learn because their valuable ones are broken. They also supplied some. This Christmas that is just passed, a lot of it was donated to the school by members of this Agosa. Not only that, they also awarded uh, scholarships to many that deserve them. As many as over 60 were given awards around this time last year and in this year again so many children that are in certificate class were enrolled by this group and indeed i'm here to appreciate them i'm here to appreciate you the agosa you have done much for these children the pioneers of this association i thank you so much and to you that is keeping it rolling I thank you so much. Even as we are here now, some of the projects aimed at helping the children, encouraging them, is still going on as we are here. If we are closer to the classroom, you will see a lot of work being done that way. And even to the point of this pavilion we are here now, they are the ones that are for this sheet, as you can see. I cannot enumerate much they have done for us. They are really helping us in this place. They are really keeping the school going onward. They, they didn't want these children, they don't want these children to suffer. They are doing much for us. Enabling the teachers to work in a conducive environment. I thank you so much. It is good that we are here today to witness this golden jubilee. It is worth celebrating. I congratulate you. We appreciate all your efforts in this school. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you, Mr. Oshelen, the current principal of the grammar school. We appreciate you. Keep doing the good work of the things that brings development forward in the school. On that note, I want to call on Professor. I want to call on Chairman, sir. 
Members of this revered high table, the chiefs, past and uh, present principals, members of Agosa, my esteemed students there, I must sincerely say that today is a day that we go down in history as one to be celebrated all the time. My job is a very simple one, to give a keynote address, which ordinarily would have started before all the other various components, because the various components are all embodied here already. So I am not going to bother myself repeating them. But what I'm just going to do is that in each component, I'm going to pick out one or two things that are striking that we have to learn from and build on. I started my address with looking at the origin and the establishment of Adi Grammar School, which has already been taken care of. But one thing stands out very clearly from the history of this very institution that we are all in today. In the event leading to its establishment, the meetings that were conveyed by Chief A. A. E. Obaro we are conveyed in the house of the late chief of Okuzo. And just look at the attendance. What does it tell you? Unity of purpose. Unity of purpose. This one is from Okule, it's not there. This one is from Omnia, it's not there. This one is from Elodie, it wasn't there rather. So everybody had that push to ensure that we have a school where our children can go to. Because as at that time, the nearest to us was Oro Grams, Oro Grams School. <laughs> Less on you. You started January 78. Yes. So, do we still have that unity of purpose today? We'll try. We have to keep that. During our closer meeting, something we should look at. Second thing that came out from that history. You know, Chief Alvaro was my uncle. And for your information, <laughs> Reverend Father Patrick Cotton lived in Chief Alvaro's house. And his cook lived in my father's house. So, Father Courtney was always coming to my father's house to monitor me when I was reading or not. And in all the ecstasy and celebrations that accompany the approval by the inspectors that the school can go on. One song stood out, and that song has never left my subconscious. And what was that song? Oh, you know, boy, you're a man of a woman, 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 
So what that means is that once you are up there, you also draw up your brothers and sisters to be with you. Obadu saw the light and drew the entire army with him. It's something to be emulated. And that is what something, one thing that I continue to cherish in our own brother here. Dr. Austin Avoro. He is always wanting to push everybody up the ladder. Now, if you leave the history and go to how Agrofa also was formed, again, there is something to learn from. When we were here, it was glorious, just as every one of us had attested. But at a time, because of the depreciation in value and, you know, the urge to get money quickly without even working for it, the enrollment here dropped. To the extent that people were going outside here to register for the West African Schools Educate Examination. You forget that the students are getting tired. Exactly. It's to ask all of us a clarion call to ask all of us to please to begin to think Abbey Grammar School all the time, to begin to think Agosta all the time. And I sincerely want to end again on a Muslim and Wimbledon again with uh, one song I also treasure from Obo. Daniel Cardoz, you know, but then you. Daniel Cardoz, you know, but then you. Only Pueblo and Israel. I put that to Hanyana. We're going to die the banner. Can you do it over there? Thank you and God bless. That's a good one by Professor Ifelunde, aka Focus, Alan Focus. He has, he, has said it, he has said it all. I want to assure you just like what you said that apart from being a member of old students of this school, we need to network. We need to socialize more with our friends to be able to build this school. So we are grateful to you, sir. And then before we go to the next item, I want to remind each and every one of us that by 4 p.m. today, there's going to be a novelty match at Omea Primary School at Omonyeba. <laughs>
So on this note, we want to call on our brother, Dr. Gordon Osai, to throw light on the presentation titled Life Battles Challenges. Dr. Osai, please. Mr. Chairman, sir, members of the high table, let me observe the existing protocols. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, this association for finding me worthy to be in their midst, that giving me opportunity to meet an old friend, a very aggressive person when it comes to the development of Ndokwa struggle, and that is the person of Augustine Abu. Is an epitome of love for his people. And I know that he didn't attend this school. He attended a Rogu Grammar School. I'm seriously delighted to be here to talk to you students. Where are the students on campus now? Raise your, wave your hands. Students, you are there. And I also want to share this five minutes with those that have graduated from here 50 years ago and let me say in 50 years ago by that time God made all of you the, the people who are graduates I mean the old boys God made your path to cross some of you are here some are not here why is it that you are enthusiastic to be here? And why is it that some others are not excited coming to join you? It's not the 1,000 Naira per annum registration or whatever it is. It is not because they don't have money. It is not because they don't have education. So I congratulate those of you who are here. I thank God for you to have gotten the courage, the 
divine empowerment to be available here physically. You can't run an association like an old boys or old girls school, just like that, even a community. You don't just run it. What makes it possible to be run very well is if the human beings that make up that association are connected. In my community, in my village, in my village, my village is one of the biggest communities or clan in Indopa West. A lot of problems here and there. I'm from Otaguno. I belong to the 72 set of Sekizitus. That's when I finished school then. Hello? Okay. I'm going to project because I'm a teacher. Can you hear me? Hello? Okay. Then some of my village people who are very successful, who have succeeded in their personal private endeavors, felt that they need to organize Otagbono to be united as one people, a clan. So they moved from Lagos and came to Asaba to meet a few of us in Asaba. And what was the topic? Unity of our people. About seven, eight of us. They were, they were all, they are all big people. And when they finished talking and, you know, pontificating, about the need for unity, let us unite our community and all that. And I raised my hand, they allowed me to talk. And I said, hey, honorable commissioner, you are in this town for how many years? Do you know my house? Ah. And I called the commissioner there. We are here gathered and we are speaking grammar. Let's unite for the community. Eight of us, nine of us here. How many of us visit our our, our, our colleagues, you don't know my house. I stopped coming to your house because you never responded. Was I looking for a job? How can we unite a community when those of us trying to lead the unity don't bond? We, are, we don't love ourselves. You can't give what you don't have. You cannot give what you don't have. So for the association, Abbey Grammar School Old Students Association. It's made up of human beings, not just that name. Until the human beings begin to connect, historically and otherwise, the thing will just be faltering like that. Not just this school, every school. There are people who bear the burden of communities. There are those who don't give a damn. They are very lackadaisical. They don't care. There are those who associate because they want to show off and a success. There are those who dissociate because they are not proud of themselves. Because they feel they are failures. It's not so. It is not uh, so. All of us have a position in life. Some start from the pit. Some start from the ground level. Some start up. We are in different tracks in this life. We are all on our own individual tracks. We are all on our track and we are running different races. Some are on 100 meters race. Some are on 1,005 long and all that. You don't copy that man. You don't have to live like that man because you are not on the same race. You are in the same world. You are all running, but you are running different uh, races. So, I am not going to waste your time, but I need to make the point that the time has come for some of us to drop dead weights. I wanted to be a doctor, and I couldn't make it. Now I'm a teacher, so I'm a failure. Fa, 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 fa. Nobody's a failure. Those who fail are those who think they cannot succeed. Life's battles do not always go to the faster or stronger man. But those who win the battle 
are those who think they can. I give an example with our brother, Dr. Austin Aguru. I remember when we were in Lagos, around 89, 90 period. He was a, uh, a notable consultant into the, in the oil and gas sector. I was in Coopers and Library and Financial, blah, 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 blah. If you see the zeal with which he was organizing us, the bonding, if you see the zeal with which he was doing his own work and giving out his sweat, tears, and blood, you will know that this person has a vision. The problem is that most of us, even with your PhD, with your BSc, with your school SAT, if you don't have the vision, you don't have where you are going. We must begin to think of visioning. Who am I? What will life become? What are the possibilities that I can be somebody? You don't have to succeed in that line first. If you don't, if you fail, if you fail in that step, it doesn't mean that you have failed in the journey. You take, you stand up. Because in this life's journey, there are people that fall on the way. They sit down. They say, John, why I, what's the matter? He say, Michael pushed me down. Oh, hey, yeah, sorry. Oh. They move and leave you on there. You are on the ground. They go to where they are taking their prizes and their certificates. On their way back, they still see you on the ground. Ah, uh -huh, oh boy, are you still here? Uh, now Michael pushed me down. Oh. Ah, did Michael tell you not to stand? Michael never told you to stand. They have pushed people down. And they stood up and went and got their prizes. But the moment you stay, that no, I'm tired. This 100 meter race is too far. I have only done 50. I have to return back to where I started. This is 100 kilometer race you have to run. You have done 50 kilometers and you got tired. You want to use the remaining energy to go back another 50 kilometer behind to where you started. Is that sensible? Why don't you use that energy to complete the 50 in front? And then you take your certificate. That's what life is all about. Tenacity. Tenacity. If you see people that succeed, there are people that are tenacious. And what is tenacity all about? Tenacity is all about durability. You must be durable in your spirit. You must be enthusiastic. You must be enthusiastic about your focus, about your dream, your vision, your targets. You must have courage to continue. You must be goal-minded. If you don't, if you live without goal setting, you are just playing. You must be energetic. You don't give up. You must be versatile. If medicine doesn't work, did they tell you that you can't do engineering? If engineering doesn't work, can't you do accounting? If those professions don't work, can't you be a trader like P2B? Abi? Yeah. And who told you that Chris Oyakilome read religion? I'm sure you all know what Chris read. Mm -hmm. eh? Yes, he was my student in Ekoma. He read architecture. What about Dr. Kumui? He read uh, religion at BBK. PhD mathematics. What about Dr. Deboye? He read the uh, Old Testament uh, religion <laughs> mathematics. What about the other brother? The uh, what's the other one? Oye Depo. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Sai. We appreciate you. But what you have said, the key thing is bonding, and that I can do spirit. Let us keep it fly. Thank you very much. Now, we want to appreciate our principals, both former and present, for what they have been doing in this school. I want to appreciate them by giving them recognition. And on that note,
Avec plaisir. appreciate you and even as we give you this this is from the one angle but with god i will really bless you for your service and the first here is mr hc Use. to receive this award on behalf of mr hc Use. I got your place. I appreciate you. Chief Augustine for what he has been doing in this school. I will pray that God will continue to empower him to do more. Agent Yafu was um, somebody that contributed a lot in this school in, in areas of science. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you. It's Mr. O.C. Ibomo. Mr. O.C. Ibomo, please. Mr. O.C. Ibomo is played appreciation for material service will be taken on his behalf by our principal. Dikin E E Onye Ibe. Dikin Onye Ibe. In the same vein, Felix Edwards, one of us, we also receive on their behalf. Thank you, Ibe. We appreciate. Mr. Bolise. What is it? What pressure to you? On the relations. A.K. Harry. Second Harry, we appreciate you. Thank you for what you have done and what you are doing in this school. I appreciate you. Uh, my career service in this school. The DOT chairman is thanking you for all you have been doing. Thank you. Kalata. Ijong Mao Kalata. He happens to be an old student of this school. We appreciate you. Why here? He contributed tremendously to the development of this school. In general structure. Akalaka, we are grateful. We are grateful. It's Mr. You know, before Mr. Oshile Monday, we want to call on our former principal, Mr. Felix Enemwaso, who is also one of us. And this is also is a good student of this school. And he has contributed. This is our current principal, Mr. Ushilim Monday. Mr. Oshin Monday is the current principal of Harvey Grammar School. 
I want to enjoy him to borrow you from his predecessors for what you are doing and what you continue to do for the school. Well, thank you. Thank you everybody. Uh, we are grateful for the time and the patience you people have um, demonstrated staying with us. Uh, for our past principals and our current principal, we are grateful to all of you. What we have given to you is in no measure commensurate with the sacrifice you made to the progress of this school. It's just a recognition. Uh, I'm only adding here that in addition to this plaque given to you, um, a little token to cover your logistic expenses for coming here today will be sent to you later. Please accept us as you see us. There are a lot of things on our plate. Thank you very much. We are grateful to all of you. Thank you. God will lead you home. Coach, we would like to call on the chairman of the Education Committee of Abbey to tell us one or two things. And also, Dr. Koko has something to tell us concerning the chairman of ACF as Abbey Stakeholders Forum. Um, the chairman of today's location, members of the high table, fellow alumni, past and present principals of this school, dignitaries from the community, happy community, students, ladies and gentlemen. I want to, first of all, thank our president, Mike Okolo and his team. They have done us proud. In fact, I got recently associated with this uh, program and I'm impressed, certainly very impressed. I want to enjoin them to continue and to do more. Most importantly, I will uh, invite fellow alumni of this school old boys, and of course girls, because at our own time we had girls, to so please make contributions in any form to help to move this school forward. I listened to the speech made by the chairman of today's occasion, and um, I am glad too that is a son of the soil. It has from the beginning, even when he wasn't, um, let me say, blessed by God to be financially strong to support us. He had by his effort joined others to come here to play this place for the building of the first structure. It's today I have had that system and I'm impressed. I'm impressed. And no wonder why they have been doing what others have been doing in this school. They are so commitment. Chairman, please continue to do what you are doing. God will bless you more. And uh, our members Either resident in Abbey, in Delta, anywhere, wherever it is. Let us continue to bomb like some of them have said here. It's important. Let's exchange numbers and continue to talk to ourselves after this occasion on what to do to improve this place. 
In fact, the chairman of Navarro has given us a great challenge. A man who is not from this school, notwithstanding has from Abu, he has given us a challenge by saying, set up an endowment fund. And he has thrown in five billion. That's a challenge. I don't think we can live here today without making up our minds on this challenge. It would be a shame to him if we drop it. Certainly. And if I'm him, if we drop it today and we don't take it, do anything to follow up, then um, I think God is effort to do it. Yeah. Let me support that call with two million naira. And uh, let me say as well, I know last year I I was instrumental to set up the Education Endowment Fund. I gave 500,000. But in continuation of that Education Endowment Fund, I will give this year one million naira. What is the idea? To ensure that this our students, those of them, as you are sitting there, they are bright, very bright. But some of them may be deterred from going further because of a fund or finance. Because of your background or something. They are not privileged, their parents to support them. So I know I go sign with the education and government fund to look into the issue of scholarship for some of them and as well uh, their needs and I encourage them to know that those of us who are here today speaking, <laughs> we were like them. We were like them. So we are looking at another 50 years. They will be here. And by that time we are all gone. <laughs> so it is what they learn from us that they will do. Let them learn this uh, sense of unity, sense of uh, cooperation and contribution. And by the time we are talking about 50 years, I would have mentioned the Omar here, Government College. Uh, you know how many years that is? And they have students all over walks of life. It will be so in Abu. Certainly it will be so. So I will as well say that let us make this association to, be, to look national. I'm seeing it as populated more by people around here. I am know that some, a lot of people from outside this area have been privileged to go to school here. And they'll be happy if they read in the national papers a call for membership of this association, I mentioned that last year, let us take pages in the newspaper and publish and say, uh, from so so to so so so, where you are a student of this school, please uh, make uh, contact. We have a competitive, I mean, a, a list of people who have in various places they may be, and we we'll contact them, and that's how we build up. And we build up, there are people, a lot of them, who are in a position to give us a lot of money, and in fact ideas that will promote this place, occupy great positions in government that will help to bring one or two things to this institution. So I would encourage us not to stop at what we are doing now, but to think of something that will promote this place, make it a little bit lighter for our brother, us in our group, who is so committed to see that this place uh, improves. That is all I think I will say. The principle of today, please continue to do what you are doing. Uh, the discipline is important. Make sure your students are disciplined uh, at our own time, but not now. At our own time, there was corporal punishment. What it was was that if you do anything that falls uh, out of order, We'll be asked to go and approve one uh, I want to appreciate the chairman of today's occasion, as well as the chairman of Agusi, and all distinguished guests seated here. I want to appreciate all of you. I don't want to give tall talk here. 
I want to say that at the beginning of our inception, 2011, as Education Committee, we were about 15 members. Today, we are only three or four because of non appreciation of what we are doing. Today itself, we heard that the Education Committee was there. I didn't mention what we have done. We have contributed immensely to the welfare of this school. We on our own, after Dr. Avu had provided us with some uh, uh, computer pieces, we left here on our own, with our own money, transported ourselves to Asaba to be the Commissioner of Education. We complained to him, and he was very happy that we were able to have education from him. Being that he was thinking that we had been disappeared for uh, those, uh, those days. So he promised to send us computer pieces, and he did. And in addition to that, he brought sandwich generator to this place. Because any time we meet here, people don't think that we are in fact, we are dismayed. Because we are just we are four here this morning. One has left for some years. Because we feel that our work is not being appreciated. I want to say that uh, I thank Dr. Abu, I thank Professor Fedeluni, those were the people who generated this idea of computer. They brought their own and we went to Asaba. The one he brought about 200 pieces. As of that time, there was examination was in paper and pencil. But because of computer age now, people are using a computer for jam. At that time, since all the schools around this place, they are aware that no more use of paper and pencil. They are all coming to this Abbey to a center where they have their computer pieces. But, uh, all along, we are not being appreciated. Again, we are not working with the Abbey Grammar School. We include all the primary and secondary schools to ensure that the effective teaching is done. We ourselves are teachers. We stand in place to ensure that that teacher performs his duty. But when it comes around that uh, the, even the teachers come again against the education of the people who are going to be respected. So, all these insults we get from teachers, we don't know, and our own people don't appreciate it. And say they don't appreciate it, yes, appreciation is not missionary, not by giving money. Saying this man has done this, thank you very much. All that and all that. We will make all that to so remain in the committee. So I cannot call the name of those people that have left the committee because of nothing to them. We know how we managed to make exams. Yeah. So I don't know what we are going to do. We have been uh, so to say. So even the exam and practice, the teachers were running out of because we are against exam and practice. Uh, what about this? They uh, reduce the, the, the number of exam and practice. We well, appreciate you. We do appreciate what you are doing. I will enjoy you not to be tired. Whatever the shortcomings in your service to this school and to other educational institutions in Abu, we want to assure you that we'll continue to appreciate you. 
Thank you more. Thank you, sir. To tell us something. Chief Amala said. Thank you very much, the President General of Egosa. I want to appreciate all the people on the high tables, all protocol of staff. I want to say on behalf of my colleagues here, I want to appreciate you for the wonderful uh, recognition you are doing to the past presidents. Egosa, we are doing belong in Jesus' name. Uh, you say some of the things we observe while we are on seat are for improvement in this school. To be given the opportunity to know more of the ICT. We are in technology world. The world is so global now. So I want to appreciate you once again that what you have done to have all the past may you continue to move like that in such one time. I want to appreciate you once again, the president and all the EGOSA members. We want to say, well done. God bless you. One of our own, Ijomo Akaleka, the former principal of this school, wants to tell us all the good things. Mr. Chairman, my president, EGOSA, and you, great alumni of Abu Grammar School. I want to take this time to thank God for our lives, for making it possible for us to be part of history, for this great reunion. Uh, it's once in a lifetime activity. Uh, it's not uh, a commonplace activity. So I want to thank God for God blesses. We are all gathered here to make this day worthwhile. Uh, I want to specially thank uh, members of Agusa for all the contributions they've been making, both materially and physically. They are always there for us. I say thank you. Thank you very much. I, I want to start on the existing protocols, but first defer it to our very the elders council seated at the far right end. I want to also thank I want to also thank my brother, my boss, Austin, for his hand in this school. Let me also thank my brothers and my friends who are there. Uh, it's a great thing of joy. Of course, not forgetting the reasons why we are here. Our very, very younger ones. And the Education Committee, who at one time I worked closely with. It's a good thing to be here. 50 years is not 50 weeks. It's, uh, it's a long journey. And we are here to celebrate 50 years of existence of uh, Abbey Grammar School. Those of us at the time, in 1972, we all tried to join the race. And uh, somehow it came late and we had to go to the next option. Okay, Prof said it the way they were in. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So, let me look at Kuni. I said, where they were in. <laughs> I know more prof. <laughs> I know more. <laughs> also, also I do. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so the, the, uh, the intervention of uh, Dr. Austin slash platform started one day Austin was passing by on this road. And he, when he got to Lagos, he called me and said, look, <laughs> Abbey Grammar School is, uh, is down. And we have to do something about it. I came in here. I went to the first building. It was in a total collapse. I went to that building there. It was completely gone. 
this building just after the first building was also in shambles. And I knew we had the big case that came to him. But by the grace of God, we were able to, to do a little of the intervention. And I, I know that at all in our old student, Urum Grammar School, where I happened to also to be one of the executives. But Dr. Sam uh, said something about networking and going outside the boundaries of Abigail School or the alumni of Abigail School. We are talking about development. It doesn't matter where it comes from. What we want to know is that there is intervention, there is improvement. And there is that passion that everybody wants to do one thing or the other. And today, social networking has become the in thing. Two years ago, we had our old students reunion. It was a carnival. We all went back to school in our school uniform. And it was a carnival. Today, because of that, so many eyes were open to the dilapidation, state of dilapidation of the school. And because since then, there have been several interventions. It's not about how much, it's about your willingness to put your widow's mind. At this point, I want to call our brothers and sisters. It's not about how much you are. It's not about somebody has one million, it has to bring. 100,000 is something. 50,000 is something. What can you do? Can you, can you replace the gates? Can you put three coaches on the fence? Can you repaint from the staff, the press pass quarter? Whatever we can do, we must keep doing something. And it doesn't have to be left in the hands of only one of you. Let everybody be involved. At this point, I want to support the intervention and the progress with 500,000. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Emak Onyebago. You've been doing so much in this school, and it's apparent that you are doing more. We appreciate you, Doc. We want to recognize the presence of High Chief Engineer Osinio Chesono. Leader. Leader. Like a potential. You're welcome, sir. Open Ndabian in the Tokyo Group. If a mama. If a mama. If a mama, if a mama, if a mama, if a mama, I bet you a mama, if a mama, Shaka, you, you, okay, sorry, I didn't end it well. Um, I think, uh, I don't know, I'm overwhelmed here. Um, I want to start with uh, Dr. Avulu. Um, we have been doing research whether there is a way to convert somebody who went to Rugu to become a big grammar school or student. <laughs> no, no, that's a no, that's a promotion. What do you mean? That's what you mean. <laughs> so um, we ended up um, only having the leeway to make him grand patron. And uh, he gladly accepted. And um, associating with him has been very, very revealing and profitable for us here. Yeah. And uh, every time he's challenging us all the time. I can tell you, I'm here now to talk, to talk about update on a building renovation project that is going on here. And I can tell you. The chief driver of that project is also Dr. Austin Avoro. Um, we came here for inspection of the school and we found out that the lab, which is the soul of studying science, was in a deplorable state. And um, those of us, I'm a, I'm a scientist by God's grace and an engineer now. And, uh, feeding my family by practicing as an engineer. So getting to this school with my team, what we saw in the laboratory was not good. And then we, we met and decided that we needed to intervene to renovate the uh, building and also equip the laboratory. And then we organized ourselves. We, we went to Dr. Avoro, informed him 
and immediately we've not raised even one naira he dropped two million naira for us on the on the project and asked us that we should mobilize ourselves and that he's ready to top it up because he wants us to target 20 million naira for that project we, we went to his house that very day and that was the challenge we tried to raise money while we're on that um Emetulo called me and said uh, his constituency project is going to intervene on the laboratory and that um, he has saved us of that so immediately we called him with door and the floor and thanks to dr avro's motivation he told us clearly if your people are ready for another tranche of donation let me know i will also add to it and surprisingly today he has also been advising us that the way to sustain the infrastructure of this school is to have maintenance endowment form. And today, we have not been courageous enough to start it. But today, he has pushed us. He's always motivating us into things like this. So we are very grateful to you. Thank you very much for what you are doing for us. And um, we also thank others. Our BOT chair has also been very, very <laughs> supportive. Last um, April, we were here for our NAP convention. He was here as our chairman, and he gave us 500,000 Naira as education endowment to start supporting our students. After WAYEC, anybody who is able in that set to do WAYEC and get admission to ensure that you will not abandon the admission because of little fun. And that committee is working under an union to see that that is also done. Today, he has also dropped another 2 million naira to support the maintenance endowment fund. What can we say? Uh, Brother Bagus, you have been there. We thank you. Brother Bagus. Okay. Yes, uh, so uh, BOT chair also extended the education fund, which he gave 500 last year, and added another 1,000, another 1 million. And then we are grateful to him. Thank you very much, um, Chief uh, Anokam. Um, Nancy Noshong, to you and um, Ikuni, to alert you. And immediately you will come to the school, have meeting with the principal. So we are not thinking less of you. All your contribution is very, very recognized. Thank you very much, sir. Don't feel bad. We are not disregarding your contribution in any way. In, in speeches like this, we can't list out what everybody has done. Today, you saw my, son, my, 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 my speech today. I never mentioned one thing that Dr. Avru did for this school. I just recognize his immense contribution. Today is not the day to give uh, a recognition on the individual items. Please, don't be annoyed. Thank you very much, sir. I greet all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, my president, engineer Sir Michael Kolo, Dr. Rafa Banu Place. <laughs> Members of the high table, the chiefs, the principals. Um, I would like to quickly read the uh, vote of thanks that I've written here, and it's on the on page 30 of of the, of the brochure you have. I'm deeply and sincerely grateful to Almighty God and our distinguished guests for your presence and very generous support towards the success of this occasion. Special appreciation to our Chairman, Dr. Aburu, the distinguished special guest of honor, guest speakers, our BOT chair. A special guest and sponsor for your kind support. I'm also very grateful to all our other sponsors in various forms. I'm here I'm, I'm speaking specifically of our members who contributed very, very generously towards this occasion. I'm indeed very grateful. Our members, they rallied around. In fact, when we had our first planning meeting, right there and then, 
members of that committee alone pledged over two million towards this program. Right there, the very first meeting. So I'm indeed, indeed very grateful to all of you. My fellow alumni, this could not have been possible without you. Thank you so much. The other members of the alumni have also been very supportive in safe journey back to your various destinations. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. That is my Vice President, Dr. Ralph Abanam. On this note, it is time to close. And before we do that, I want to call on one of us, Pastor Benson Osai to offer the closing prayers. Yes, my please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, before we get started, King of Kings, we glorify your holy. We thank you, Lord, for giving us the opportunity to have started this school 50 years ago. Today is the 50th celebration date. Father, we pray that in another 50 years, this school will be standing in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord, that even the younger ones that are within us, Lord, they will become prominent persons in the society in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We are praying, Lord, we have come from different corners of this uh, nation and outside the nation. Father, that as we go back, that you lead us home safely in Jesus' name. All other activities that are associated with this celebration, will be performed peacefully, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord of Lord, King of Kings, even come another year, come two years, come three years from now, this celebration will continue in Jesus' name. All we have tabled in terms of the deliberations, give us the ability to do them, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the end, let your name and name alone be glorified. Thank you for being our God. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. That's a good one from Pastor Benson outside. So we want to thank and each every one of you. I'm also reminding you that we are leaving here for Omea Primary School for our novelty match. And after that, tomorrow too, we'll also let you know about the events that are lined up. Thank you very much for coming. We appreciate you all. As you are going back, the Lord will bless you richly in the mighty name of Jesus.